Welcome to the free online reviewer for aspiring fisheries professionals. Please show your support by not skipping the ads. Kapag meron kang makitang skip ad button, please wag lang po pindutin. Thank you very much. Let's start! Classification of major zones in streams. A. Rapids and pool. B. Shallow and deep. C. Calm and rough. D. Swift and stationary. E. All of the above. The correct answer is letter A. Rapids and pool. Rapids are areas of shallow, fast-flowing water in a stream, while pools are areas of deep, slow-flowing water in a stream. Blank is the introduction of human or machine, directly or indirectly, of substances or energy to the aquatic environment which result or is likely to result in such deleterious effects to harm living and non-living aquatic resources. A. Aquatic pollution B. Sewage C. Garbage D. Effluent E. None of the above The correct answer is letter A, aquatic pollution. So aquatic pollution is the introduction of human or machine directly or indirectly of substances or energy to the aquatic environment, which will result to deleterious effects to harm living and non-living aquatic resources. A bay, gulf, lake, or any other fishery area which may be delineated for fishery resource management purposes. A. Key development areas. B. Fishery reserve and sanctuaries. C. Fishery management areas. D. Marine reserve. E. None of the above. The correct answer is letter C. Fishery Management Areas So Fishery Management Areas or FMA can either be a bay, gulf, lake or any other fishery area which may be delineated for fishery resource management purposes. So in the Philippines, the Philippine water is divided into 12 FMA for effective conservation and management. Rooted aquatics often recover nutrients from deep in the anaerobic sediments and thus provide a useful blank for the ecosystem. A. Foothold B. Nutrient pump C. Attachment D. Connection E. None of the above The correct answer is letter B. Nutrient pump So rooted aquatics often recover nutrients from deep in the anaerobic sediments and thus provide a useful nutrient pump for the ecosystem. Any species that is at risk of extinction because of a sudden rapid decrease in its population or a loss of its critical habitat. A. Endangered B. Vulnerable C. Threatened D. Unprotected The correct answer is letter A. Endangered Species
So endangered species are species in immediate danger of becoming extinct and needs protection to survive. And we have other two terms, extinct and threatened. Extinct species, species of plant or animal that is no longer living. Threatened species, species that is likely to become endangered if not protected. Seeks to determine the chemical form that elements assume in water. Predicts the behavior and fate of the many materials that find their way into the ocean from the land. A. Marine ecology. B. Chemical engineering. C. Chemical oxygen demand. D. Chemical oceanography. The correct answer is letter D. Chemical oceanography. So chemical oceanography is concerned with the study of the dissolved elements in seawater and the ocean's numerous chemical and biochemical cycles. In lakes during summer, the top waters become warmer than the bottom waters. As a result, only the warm top layer circulates and it does not mix with the more viscous, colder water, creating a zone with a steep temperature gradient in between called the blank. A. Hypolimnion B. Epilimnion C. Thermocline D. Limnatic The correct answer is letter C. Thermocline So in this illustration, the warm water found at the hypolimnion layer does not mix with the cold water found at the hypolimnion layer. The area where there is a rapid temperature change is called the thermocline, and thermocline typically occurs during summer. Classification of water organisms resting or swimming on the surface. A. Benthos, B. Plankton, C. Necton, D. Muston. The correct answer is letter D. Muston. In this illustration, you can find muston, plankton, necton, and benthos. Muston, again, are water organisms that are resting or swimming on the surface, as you can see in the illustration. Plankton are called drifters. These are organisms carried along by tides and currents. Necton are aquatic animals that are able to swim and move independently of water currents. While benthos refers to organisms living on the bottom or associated with substrata. Refers to any biological, chemical contamination, or physical agent that has adverse effects on humans or aquatic organisms. A. Pollution B. Health hazard C. Toxic spill the contamination. The correct answer is letter B, health hazard. So health hazards include working conditions which result in an illness, Exposure to dangerous substances or, in, or conditions such as chemicals, gases, dusts, noise, etc. Often latency between exposure and disease. Blank is defined as the rate at which radiant energy stored by photosynthetic and chemosynthetic activity 
of producer organisms, chiefly green plants in the form of organic substances, which can be used as food materials. A. Net productivity B. Net community productivity C. Primary productivity D. Detrital activity The correct answer is letter C. Primary productivity Primary productivity is defined as the rate at which radiant energy or energy coming from the sun is stored by photosynthetic and chemosynthetic activity of producer organisms, example, green plants, in the form of organic substances which can be used as food materials. There are two types of primary productivity, the gross primary productivity and net primary productivity. Gross primary productivity is the total rate of photosynthesis including organic matter used up in respiration during a particular period, while net primary productivity is the rate energy storage of organic matter in plant tissues in excess of respiratory utilization by plants during the measurement period. Organisms that eat both plants and animals. A. Predators. B. Omnivores. C. Consumers. D. Parasites. The correct answer is letter B. Omnivores. So omnivore is an animal that eats both plants animals and plants carnivore eats other animals herbivore eats only plants any aquatic species not indigenously found in philippine waters a foreign aquatic species b introduced species c non-endemic species D. Threatened Species The correct answer is letter A. Foreign Aquatic Species So foreign aquatic species is any aquatic species not indigenously found in Philippine waters. So these species have the tendency to become invasive. However, not all foreign aquatic species are invasive. Blank microconsumers or decomposers are classified according to nature of the organic substrate decomposed. A. Saprotrophs B. Autotrophs C. Phagotrophs D. Multitrophs The correct answer is letter A. Saprotrophs. Saprotrophs are classified according to nature of the organic substrate decomposed. Saprotrophs are non-green plants, for example, mushroom, fungi, yeasts, and bacteria. Saprotrophs get their food from dead or decaying organic matter. An important process called blank occurs where winds consistently move surface water away from the precipitous coastal slopes, bringing to the surface cold water rich in nutrients which have been accumulating in the depths. A. Surface tension B. Wave action C. Upwelling D. Decomposition The correct answer is letter 
sea up welling. An important process called upwelling occurs where winds consistently move surface water away from precipitous coastal slopes, bringing to the surface cold water rich in nutrients which have been accumulating in the depths. The upper layer in the ocean with the sun's rays penetrate A. Euphotic zone B. Continental shelf C. Oligotropic zone D. Eutrophic zone The correct answer is letter A. Euphotic zone So in this illustration, you can find the ocean light zones. You have the euphoric zone, which is found in the upper layer, where the sunlight or the sun's rays penetrate. Next is the dysphotic zone or the layer below the euphoric zone. This layer is also known as the twilight zone. In this zone, there is enough light for visual predators to see. And the bottommost or aphotic zone is the region of perpetual darkness that lies beneath the dysphotic zone. Is not a type of spring. A. Hot spring. B. Cold spring. C. The large hard water springs in limestone. D. Small soft water springs emerging. E, all of the above. The correct answer is letter B, cold spring. So how springs are formed? All spring water ultimately originates from precipitation. Rain and melted snow seep into the ground where they collect as groundwater in porous rock material or the aquifer lying above a relatively impervious layer of rock. The top of this layer of groundwater is called the water table. By gravity, pressure, and other forces, the groundwater flows along paths of least resistance, often emerging as springs wherever the water table intersects the, lar the land surface. So hard water springs contain a noticeable amount of dissolved minerals compared to soft water springs. Blank macro consumers include primary, secondary, etc. Herbivores, predators, parasites, etc. A. Mammals B. Blue-green algae C. Phagotrophs D. Autotrophs E. Trophic level The correct answer is letter C. Phagotrophs these include all organisms that ingest and digest their food inside their bodies. Generally, they are referred to as consumers. They include the herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Congratulations for finishing this video. Thank you for not skipping the ads. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.